Hey, what's going up guys? Today, I'm going to show you how to get palm wood. And you do not need to hack or do anything really special to do this. It involves a quick glitch. And the glitch is pretty simple to do. It shouldn't be too hard as long as you can just build and use axes. That's all you really have to do. So, I would recommend getting a really, really bad axe. But not like a like basic hatchet bad but probably if you have depending on how much money you have like a steel axe or a hardened axe because this way you won't spend too much time on the palm island cutting down trees and you won't be losing like rukairi axes and stuff so i'm gonna just quickly grab this hardened axe and come on tom so now we have an axe. Gonna set up the glitch. Well, mine's already set up, but I'm gonna set it up again just to show you guys. So, what you have to do is get a small vehicle spawner, like utility vehicle. I'm gonna just put this on the ground and move it somewhere for now. And you also need a mundane chair. So, what I usually do is I'll put a mundane chair about right here on the edge, right there, and then I get the utility vehicle and make it horizontal like this and get the front end of the car where the button is right there. So it's right next to the mundane chair. Then you sit in the chair and you press E on that and you should be welded to the car. And the reason why you do this is pretty simple. In, in the script it wants the car to go to the bottom of the ocean, but it wants the humanoid to go to the top. So basically what you're doing now is just glitching it so that you can go to the all the way bottom or all the way top. And so jumping will take the humanoid to the top. And so I'll show you. It's really kind of weird to explain though. So as you can see, I'm just jumping and going forwards. Screw Hoover. You can also do this to get to the tropics island. And what you do is just jump up and down forward until you hit the palm island and it's gonna take a bit of time it t usually it's about 30 to 45 minutes of getting the take takes about 30 to 45 minutes of to get the palm wood and I'm gonna probably fast forward apart when I'm returning because returning takes the majority of the time like getting here you can do it like three or four minutes it's just coming back that takes forever and you'll see why when I get there. So I'm just gonna continue swimming to the Palm Island. I personally like to use this one because it's the closest. Well, I'm not sure if that one is closer, but that one you have to go to the safari and it's really hard getting the wood up. This one you have a sand dock and I'm pretty sure this is the boat secret that the faulty has been hiding this whole time. And I'm just going to keep jumping. Okay, now that we are close, I usually pick the tree that looks the biggest and the hardest and bold and brash. I don't know, just the best tree that you can find. So, apparently, looks like this one right here. I'm going to zoom in and just cut an axe like usual. Just remember that it will be a bit more glitchy. And I just keep cutting. And you will start doing this really funny glitch. Like your character will just start rotating on a car and all this weird stuff. But it's perfectly normal. So now that you got the tree down, this is the hardest part. The return trip. So depending on how big the tree is, let me see if this one's even big enough, like small enough or light enough, yeah. Okay, it looks okay. So what you want to do, let me zoom out and get in the right position, is you want to face this and keep jumping until you are about right here, I guess. Come on. Okay, this, this piece is kind of big. 
So I'm, I'm gonna just sit here and heal the full health real quick because, as you can see, this is similar to what we're gonna be doing. So this health should be decent. I'm gonna jump. Jumping will not reduce your health. It's only when you're moving the wood that you need to walk. And I'm gonna angle towards the sand dock. Hopefully not Hoover won't run over. And then when you're really, really close to dead, you just jump in place. And having multiple screens or windows for this is really helpful because I'm gonna click out of Roblox and I'm still jumping in place and I'm just gonna sit here and wait for my health to go back to full. And I'm gonna show you this again before I fast forward the intermediate section. So I'm about half health. This takes quite a bit of time. Now you guys can see why I said 30 to 45 minutes. Even though like it's just been about like three minutes or so just getting there. The return trip is gonna be at least ten times as long because of this. Okay. We are at a health that is good enough for me to take control again. So, I'm gonna get down, grab this, and just walk. All you have to do is walk along the ocean floor. And, about now, release and jump. So, just continue doing this until you reach the sand dock. And when I get there, I will do a time lapse. So, I'm gonna fast forward now, and I'll see you when we're at the sand dock.
Alright, so now I have made it to the sand dock and I am at full health, so I'm gonna now show you what to do after you get the palm wood. So, what you have to do is walk up the sand dock. And by the time you are walking, you should not take damage. Like right there, I stopped taking damage because I'm no longer floating. And now what you do is just bring the wood like onto your base if you're in a public server because who Ooh. likes what the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? What just happened there? I have no idea what just happened. Default if you just if you're watching this, what the heck just happened there? Like what just happened? Like I wasn't even in the water and I just died. And where the heck is my axe now, Defaultio? Give me my axe now, Defaultio. Or I'm putting you on the scammer list. You just took my axe. Defaultio, you just took my axe. Dude. Oh my god, Defaultio. I, I swear, you, you, you just took my axe somewhere. You must have hacked in here and took my axe, but... Something weird just happened. Oh, well, anyway, away from that, when you're on land, I'm gonna move this Somax away from the yellow wood, because I don't want it to get mixed up. I'm gonna put it right here, get this conveyor. I usually just have it like this. And set to 2.2, just plank it like any other piece of wood. The palm wood is pretty light. I mean, it's not that hard to cut. I'm pretty sure even the plain axe or maybe even the hatchet can cut it, so... I'm not sure about the hatchet, but I know about the plain axe for sure. So I'm gonna cut these into reasonable sizes. This is pretty dank. I like me palm wood. So right about here. Put this part through the sawmill. And this part. Stick this through the mill. And the final dummy part right here. Hopefully I can try to get this to fit. Please fit. Dang it. Oh, gonna have to cut it. Right there. And I should get some... There's a small piece and a big piece. Where, wait, are they, are they both? Yep. So, one palm tree yields about this much, so I do not recommend selling palm wood, as it is obviously not the best wood to farm. You just saw how long that took, right? About 20 or so minutes for this much wood, and palm trees don't even cost that much, so I don't see any point in farming, but I'm gonna go look for the axe again, because I'm pretty sure it could be somewhere in the ocean, it could be like lag related, but... If I cannot find this axe, I, I swear, I'm gonna do something to you, Defaultio. You're gonna go on the scammer list. Because clearly, I was not in the water when the axe went away. But let me just check. Hopefully my axe is here. It's not like I really even care, I just want my axe. Okay, is the axe here? Is that the axe? Oh wow. That must have been a really, really big lag spike. But the axe is right here. So, <laughs> that was probably just a giant lag spike. I just thought I stayed in there for too long, even though I was really out here. It's probably the... Yeah, it is the saving. Right there. It, it, it was a saving, or something related to save. But if you don't randomly reset, what I would do is drop down the axe on my base and reset outside. And I could just let that car do whatever. And my wings are attached to it, so yeah. Basically it just thinks the car is an accessory. So if you guys enjoyed how to get palm wood, a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.